Good evening. An officer caught on camera makes the statement that you can get AIDS from saliva. And the remark is not going unnoticed. CTV's Austin Delaney is live at the scene of the incident near Dundas and Church. Austin, there are several layers to this story, including the next steps being taken by the men who recorded the arrest. Well, things are moving rapidly. It happened right here on Tuesday morning. Already, the man who shot that video has filed a formal complaint, and Toronto police have issued an apology over the AIDS comment. We're here, we're queer, we're fabulous, we're over this. And you can't get HIV from my saliva. Or mine. Or mine. This small group of activists crashed the police board meeting angry over this video. I'm a witness. Okay, well, if you're a witness, then we're going to be seizing yourself. So what'd you say? If you're spit in your face, you're going to get AIDS. The officer was one of two threatening to seize a citizen's phone if he did not stop recording police using a taser to arrest a suspect that had spat and punched a female officer in the face. There are many people, like thousands upon thousands of people in our city that are living with HIV that are now less comfortable to have any interaction with the police because of that video. Last night, Toronto police tweeted this. First step in righting a wrong. The 51 division officers comment simply wrong. You cannot get HIV or AIDS from spit. We're sorry. I mean, the apology doesn't excuse the comment. Um, and the AIDS Committee of Toronto has not heard anything directly from police services about that. The mayor is pleased Toronto police oh, acted quickly with an apology. I found the comments uh, with respect to AIDS and saliva just ignorant. I mean, they're just ignorant, and I think they're offensive. Uh, and uh, fortunately, the police move quickly to apologize for those. Toronto police are also promising to educate and investigate officers. No, I'm not going to take a snapshot incident uh, and, and say that uh, the sky's falling. That's not the case. That was an incident, which, you know, at the end of the day, uh, apologies were given. We're going to be making sure that every officer understands what they can and cannot do. And then third and foremost, there's an investigation to to look at the conduct and, and then deal with the situation so that it's either training or discipline. He's down and they chase Meanwhile, him. the man who shot the video has filed a formal complaint with the Office of the Independent Police Review Director. Get that guy out of my face, please. Yesterday at bail court during a video remand, the suspect who was tasered turned his back to the camera and refused to speak. Today, a jail guard stood in front of the camera telling the court Andrew Henry refused to leave his prison cell. The 42-year-old faces nine charges, including assault police and threatening death. Henry is refusing to speak to duty counsel, a lawyer who could, help, who could help him get bail. So the Justice of the Peace has issued a bench warrant. That means he will be taken from his cell tomorrow to another court that specializes in mental illness. We're playing live. I'm Austin Delaney.